Well, Doug, you know, I don't do a lot of Pintos on the show. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> In fact, I think I've only done one. But this thing, I saw it yesterday, and then I, you know, I was kind of there at the entrance when you came in today. I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta find this guy. This is an interesting car. This is a 73 Pinto, right? Correct, correct. Um, but boy, uh, there's more done to this than I think I've ever seen. And this has been in your family the whole time? For What's a long time, no. It's, well, a long time, not since it was new, but for 35 years. Oh my gosh. So a long time, yeah. And it was all original when I got it. So who had it before? My dad had it. Oh, okay. And, uh, and it didn't work. It was all original, but it didn't work. And I went to Texas to get it. He called me and said, I'll give you this car if you promise to keep it out of a junkyard. So this is my way to keep it out of a junkyard. Well, yeah, <laughs> I think yeah. you, you yeah. certainly did that. Yeah. Now, being a Texas car, uh, was it pretty solid, not a lot of rust? There's no rust on it anywhere. It's originally from California. Oh, okay. So it, it really had a, a good life. And then how many miles did it have on it before it stopped working for your dad? Yeah, the odometer says 33,000, so I'm, I think it's 133,000. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she looks great. And you, I mean, you've dressed it up like crazy. We're, I've never the, seen a front spoiler on a Yeah, I got that out of Canada. Really? Yeah, some guy molds them up there. And, and the, it's a, it's adjustable? Uh, no, I put those on there because oh, okay. it was a little flimsy, the fiberglass. Uh -huh. I didn't want it to break, so I put the struts on it to hold it. It looks, it looks it, great. And was that the original grill? Yes, the, original grill. And there's an intercooler down below under, in that bottom hole below the bumper. And then the striping, the way you carried it through, I just, I just really dig. And you've got kind of this uh, Mark Donahue uh, Trans Am scheme. Correct. That's where I robbed it from. I wanted something a little bit different that would, that would look good at a car show, so I reversed it. The Mark had red in the back, blue in the front. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. And then... <laughs> You, the silver stripe really works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it really does. So, that, well, I was, I, I went between silver and gold, and we went was you know trying to figure out if we should do a gold stripe or oh. or silver, and we went. Oh, with I think silver. I think silver is definitely the right choice. Yeah. And what are the colors? These are Ford colors. All of them. All Ford. This is Ford race red, Ford white, and that's a Ford Shelby color. Silver is Toyota, some kind of Toyota silver color. And it, it, you've got pretty much a uh, all, stock interior. It's all it? original except for what you can see that I've done. The uh, steering wheel is upgraded, yeah. and these gauges we put in, and tack oil, all the usual. Yeah. The radio is upgraded, and the... Uh, that a, that's, a, that's actually a custom auto sound. Custom auto sound <laughs> system, correct. Stashed in there. And, and I put a white knob on it, just so it looked like a muscle car look. Yep, yep. But all original, yeah, the dash is original, these seats, the back seat folds down, it's original, it's in good shape. That is amazing. It, it, and the mirrors work, these mirrors are original. It's like a time capsule, I just can't believe it. Yeah, it was well taken care of, it's all covered up for years and years yeah. and years. And even the, even the slats? Yep, they were on it, they were just black before, and the spoiler was added. Was that another Canadian? Canadian. Album? But these, where'd these come from? Uh, they were on the car when I got really? it. Really? So, so they made aftermarket stuff yes, even back then? Yes, oh. uh, and it is aftermarket, and uh, it's not Ford, but it was it was added at some point. These weren't No, I out. painted the those, I blacked out, I blacked out the the emblems. Oh, yeah. The door frames are blacked yep. out, and I took yep. the, the, the stainless off of it. You used to have stainless on there, Yeah. but I left this for accent and blacked everything else it, out. It looks, it looks great. And I love the wheels. I mean, you really yeah. dressed it up nice. But I, when I heard you come in, I knew that something was going on. Let's go look at that engine. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you got this little turbo scoop, but you really have a turbo. Yeah. This, yes. I mean, this is unbelievably beautiful. What, uh, what is it? It's the original 2.0 yeah. Ford engine. But it didn't look like that. No, no, no. It just had this, it was all stock originally. Yeah. And I added a four barrel manifold poly carb and got a, a turbo manifold from England. The, the valve cover came from England. My pulleys came from England. There's a lot of performance parts available in England. Had the radiator made here up north. Intercoolers custom made to fit down there with ends 90 up. It's all custom. Uh, installed to make it look like it was original. Well, it does, and I've never seen a turbo in one of these. Do they make it first, no. or did you have to m make it happen? I made it happen. They <laughs> never turboed these cars. Wow. They did later on Mustangs yeah. and turbos, but not a Pinto. So, so is it pretty fast? Yeah, it does. It scoots. That turbo added a lot. It's probably 200 horsepower, and not a lot of horsepower, but it's an 1,800 pound car. Yeah, a car that weighs nothing. Yeah. Well, so. close it back up. That is just that is just beautiful. I hate to close it up, but do because I love the whole look of the car. 
So this is a Mustang two scoop yeah. turned backwards. So so it's a it's a 1973 Pinto that's just been dressed up amazingly. That's been in the family for 35 years. Yes, correct. Doug, correct. I love this car. Thanks, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>